with time saving templates and today I'm going to be going over a quick Excel tip that is going to help you out when you're troubleshooting external links within your Excel file. So for this example, I'm going to go ahead and open up an old version that we have of a template and I want you to see this message that we get. So if you ever get this message that your workbook contains links to external sources, I know that it would be safe because it's something that I've had on my computer. And this could also happen if somebody emails you the template and there's a link on their computer still. So as long as you know who it's from, it should be fine. So we have a couple options update the links or don't update. I'm going to click update and then you'll see that I get this message. Some of the links in the workbook can't be updated. You can continue updating the values or edit the links you think are wrong. So say I click on edit links. What this shows me is there's a link in the file that links to these two sources. I could go and open the source. Of course, this one is an error because the source isn't found. And over here at the bottom, I can see the location is in a 2020 collection folder, which I don't, I deleted that folder or renamed it, or I just don't have that folder anymore. So I know that that's why that link isn't working. This one, the file is open. I know that file, so no problem there. Now, if you don't know, sometimes we get a really long link and it's kind of like a temporary link or something and you don't know where that file is coming from, you could try to check status. You could break the link, open the source. If you click update values or open source, it's going to prompt you to find a new location, update it. But for this purpose, what we're trying to figure out is what part in the worksheet, because there's a lot of different tabs, there's a lot of different formulas. I don't know what formula is actually looking at this, these two files for. Another option we have is breaking the links. If you just want to break them, it's going to convert whatever it's pulling over now, it's going to convert to the existing value. The problem here is that I, you want to know first, what value are we converting? What is it bringing in certain employee information? Is it bringing in a data point that I don't really need? And so I don't care if it's the most updated value. So before you break the links, we're going to do some investigating here. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. And if you ever want to get back to that table, you could also go to data edit links and that'll bring that table back up or you go to file info edit links and that'll also bring up that that table again. But the table is not telling us where in this workbook because I have a lot of different formulas. Um, so what, which formula is it that we're wanting to break the link on? So we want to double check that first. So to find that specific formula that's an external link, we're going to pull up a control F, pulls up the find and replace, and we're just going to type in this dot XL and find all. So you're going to have to do it on each tab. So we didn't find anything on this tab. That means nothing in my detail summary is referencing an external source. I'm going to try it again on here. Nothing. Okay, now I've found, if you look up here at the top, it's found, and I can also widen this find and replace box. This is where the formula is referencing outside of the template. So it's referencing a 2020 collection folder that I no longer have. So if you look in this chart, it's telling me cells 017 through 026 are, uh, are contain the formula. So 017, I'm going to find it here. It's an O. 17, so these are hidden. So I'm going to right click and unhide, and it's this formula right here that's linking outside the worksheet and, of course, getting a value. So for these purposes, we're actually not using these rows. 
this particular summary is only needed for these first few um, cells 7 through 16. So now that I know how that formula is being used in the worksheet, I could just go ahead and delete the formula. I really don't even need to break a link or anything. I could also, the formula above it is the corrected one. I could also drag that down if I wanted to be able to use these additional rows, which is not really necessary for this particular template, is tracking turnover by tenure in here. So we have 10 different spots for tenure categories, and it's really not necessary to go over 10 different categories unless you really want to break it out. Um, so that is how you find the, the cell that's linking. So now that I've removed that formula, let's go back to the edit links and see, you'll see that that one that was referencing the 2020 collection folder is now gone and then I just click check status and it says source is open that's because I have this file open right now this testing file so we're still having a link somewhere and so we can keep looking for that link in the other tabs and then now it's found it here it's just the link at the top so now that I know that what cell the link is in I could either break the link or pay you could also do copy paste special values to remove that link so you would do control C, right click, paste special, and values. You could also do values and number formats if your formula has a specific format that you want to keep. And then that completely removes the link. And so now if I go to, oh, see edit links is not even an option now because now we have no more links in the file. So, so that is how you can double check and remove your external links. And I also have one more example. So for the second example, I'm still going to do the same thing where I do the control F and search for that dot XL to find the formula. But with this example, you'll see there's a long link here. And this is, I believe, related to saving in OneDrive or it's a temporary link that's been added. So for this file, I know that it shouldn't be linking to anything external. It should be linking to the different tabs within this worksheet. So sometimes this happens where through saving different versions of things or somehow this temporary link is getting added and I only want it referencing this set 10 years ranges is a tab right here, set 10 years ranges. I'm wanting that to link directly to the same tab in the same file. The reason we need this linking to the same tab is because um, say that I would like to update this information, say this first label I want to do from zero to three years instead of zero to six months and I'm wanting to change, it's supposed to be set up so that these links will update to zero to three years if that's how we want to edit it in this tab. You edit it here and it updates in several different pages. But with this temporary link, it's you'll see it's not updating here. So when you see this, it all you have to do is remove this whole file path and I only want the name of the tab. So I'm just gonna highlight it and delete and then as long as my link is just referencing the tab name, it's going to know to look at just the tab name in that file. And so then I'm just going to drag it down. And then you'll see it. And now that when I updated that, now it says zero to three years. So now it's actually linking to where I want it to within the file. And it's not looking at any external or temporary file that we don't know where where it's at. So, so that's another way you can use this to update your external link. So I hope that helps next time you are troubleshooting or trying to figure out where your links are. Don't forget to use the control F and just search for where you have those links before you make any changes. And until next time, don't forget, I'm here to help you streamline and save time when it comes to using Excel spreadsheets. And you can find more by liking and subscribing. We have a few different YouTube playlists and a free guide for getting started with Excel, as well as some free templates at timesavingtemplates.com slash free resources. We mostly have 
templates and tips for other small businesses, rental property management, and human resources and compensation, which is my corporate background. You'll find a lot of templates and tips related to compensation and HR. So until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thanks.